Hey Brad, this is Tom Oliver from Rub Pixels, and I had a question for you. I was actually going to just tweet you this, but uh, it got kind of long. Figured some visual aids might help, so I made a video instead. This is kind of weird. I miss video responses, but here we are. So I was watching your video on Sketchable, the uh, Surface Pro tablet optimized drawing app you were talking about, and there were a couple things that you said that piqued my interest and uh, made me wonder maybe you could help me out with my Surface Pro workflow because. I also have a Surface Pro 3, and I'm having kind of a problem with it coming back to drawing with it after kind of testing a bunch of Cintiq alternatives and Wacom alternatives on my channel. I picked it back up last week and started drawing with it again, and noticed something that's probably been there the whole time, but didn't notice until I've been using all this other stuff. And that's the amount of pressure the Surface Pen needs before it picks up strokes on the screen. So uh, I've been doing October all this month, and I've started experimenting a lot more with cross-hatching in my line work. And I started trying to do that technique on the Surface Pro 3. And the Surface Pen just needs too much pressure before it starts registering a stroke. Unlike a lot of the Huion and the Wacom and all the other guys, their pens seem to be much more sensitive on the low end for that. You had mentioned in your Sketchable video, I really hope that app's called Sketchable and I'm not making something up. You had mentioned in your video for Sketchable that you had problems with the ink being not sensitive enough, but that most of your uh, brushes, when you give your tablet for other people to use, are supremely sensitive because you have a very light touch. But you've also mentioned that you use a Surface Pro all the time for inking. So I was wondering, have you noticed this being a problem in your workflow of having the Surface Pen being too uh, resistant to pressure at the low end? Um, I also noticed that you're using the Surface Pen for the Pro 4, as opposed to the Pro 3, but you own a Pro 3. So have you used both pens? Is like the Pro 4 pens more sensitive on the low end like that? Or is it just kind of something you've learned to deal with? I was wondering if there was like maybe a setting or something like that. Maybe you kind of uh, know that I don't, because I'd love to keep using my Surface Pro 3, but right now I'm kind of thinking like, do I swap it out for an iPad Pro? Because it's a lot more sensitive. Because I like the Surface Pro because it's a balance between a drawing device and a computer. Because I do a lot of writing for this channel and for other stuff, as well as drawing. So that kind of rules out the iPad Pro because the keyboard is not nearly as nice. And the Cintiq Companion is ridiculously expensive, but even then it has no typing edition. So if I could keep in the Surface Pro arena, that would be great. This video might actually be completely pointless come <laughs> tomorrow because they're gonna have the new uh, announcement. So maybe they'll announce a new pen that'll fix all these problems. But um, I just was wondering, something that kind of I'd picked up and was bugging me, so I figured I'd Reach out and see maybe if you uh, could either tell me what's up either on Twitter or if you want to make a video response too and relive the glory days of YouTube circa 2008, that's fine too. Um, this video is public, so even if you're not Brad and you have some thoughts on Service Pro 3 drawing and the pen sensitivity, please let me know down in the comments. And if you aren't subscribed to Brad's channel, I'll link that in the description. It's really good. He does a lot of high quality uh, video reviews on products, kind of like what I do, but he's covered a lot of things that I don't. So if you want to check him out, definitely do so. Uh, but Brad, thanks for watching. Hopefully you see this. It doesn't get buried on your timeline. So I'm Tom Oliver. This is Rob Pixels. Reminding you guys, we might be indie, but that doesn't mean that we're alone. Catch you all in the next one.